Now what you want to do with the shape that you're going to be cutting is to fold it down the middle. It's not essential at this stage but it does make it slightly easier and at least you'll end up with a symmetrical shape so the bits will be the same either side. I'm actually going to use my small scissors that I have now found and then cut round. Now when you're cutting you don't have to cut this all in the same direction. They'll come apart where it's easier, sorry, where it's easier to do this, to flip it over and then cut from the other direction. I've basically given you four quite simple shapes, all of which are symmetrical so you can fold down the middle and you'll see why in a second why that's important. So here is a heart that um, I have cut out, okay, and here's a star, one that I did earlier. And you'll notice that this does give you a template, in other words, a negative space. But I would suggest making a fresh one if you want to use it for the colouring, because you'll have areas where there's very little paper actually left. So we've got a bit more paper here, but it's not very much, and it's really quite easy to do, as you can see. Okay. So um, this is one of the other shapes that I cut out. This is the easier shape to use and the cross. The star is quite difficult to get completely symmetrical as I have found when doing it, but it is possible. So you might just want to stick to the crosses and the hearts, but then you're going to use that shape to cut it, cut out the heart shape on this bit of paper. Cut off the top. Decide where you want your heart to be. I want it to be roughly in the middle, but I need to remember I'm going to be folding. I'm going to be folding this bit over to attach it at the top. Don't crease all the way along. Just crease where your heart's going to be. So I've just creased between there and there, uh, just so it's a little bit less creased at the end. And if you can, the easiest thing to do is just to hold it in place with your fingers and cut. The heart is quite forgiving, uh, it doesn't matter if you don't get it perfect. And you have a heart cut out. Now you can then use that heart to transfer the shape onto another bit of paper if you want to. This is quite large, it will just Fit. Now you can test it out, what's more easy to do is to take the heart that you've cut out and put it on the paper. So you can see it's, it's quite full, so if you're happy to have it that big you can. But what you'll notice is that the shapes along the top are a little bit smaller. And these ones are designed to go with the coloured paper. So you have one bit that's now ready to go and ready to be used and I'll show you how to attach that to the string. So if we now go to cut out, say we want to put a coloured heart onto the small strips of coloured paper that we do, again we're going to fold in half, take our scissors, cut out, bits you're not quite happy with, you'll then have a small heart. Now this has got plenty of space around it so you have two ways that you can do this. You can use this directly, again you need to make sure you get it quite symmetrical. So if there's my fold at the top that I'm going to glue down. You can use this and you just want to make sure you're kind of in the middle and lined up down them. Okay, and you can draw around it and or colour in the heart like this. And then from the outsides, if you go this way, it's very easy to accidentally knock the paper up and go underneath. So if you come in from the outside, you'll get a slightly better result. You can use different colours, of course. I'm just using this because it's the one I've got to hand, I always forget to bring everything that I need when I'm doing this. I get so many resources and then forget. Or 
of course you can use the heart, the small heart, and you could cut a shape out of different paper or you could any, any bits of paper that are around. You've been given one of these bits as well. You could cut hearts in this colour if you want to. If you've got some of your own colour paper, you can cut out. Now, if you're going to cut out a coloured paper, what I suggest you do is fold it so that you get two or three at a time. Okay? So you can fold your paper, you can put your heart on, you can draw around. We will actually fold this when we actually come to the cutting so we're not actually going to need both sides of the drawing here. Okay, we can then fold it. So when you're folding it, you want to go through the tip and through the, the V at the top. And then you can cut out. You probably don't want more than three layers because obviously the more layers, the thicker the paper is. But the advantage of this is you'll get three hearts all in one go. So you don't have to cut them all out individually. If you've got different colour paper at home, do use that. You don't have to use this. So it's a little bit rough. You can just trim off any bits that aren't quite as smooth as they might be. There we go. Not quite the same as having a die cutting machine, but it's still okay. Certainly going to miss using the machine between all of us, aren't we? Um, you've now got your heart and you can stick it on instead rather than do the colouring. Now to attach it to the the piece of wool that you've got, you've got four metres of wool there. Let's turn that around so you can see. When you're putting the glue on, here's your fold, right? You only want to put your glue up here because you want your bit of wool to be able to move around inside. So take some glue, just a little bit, and just put it on the edge, okay? Don't put it all the way down or you'll find you won't be able to move your bit of paper along the wall. And you'll want to move it because you'll want to kind of put them in the position that you want once you put them up. Fold down. The glue will stick quite quickly to this, but it will take longer to stick. Where's my heart gone? Up oh, there we go. When you're doing the same with this one, you will find that it'll take longer to stick. So again, fold down, give yourself a decent bit of bit of space. Try and line up your edges so that it's a straight line. So it doesn't look straight, does it? There we go. And again, only put your it really doesn't like marking this paper, does it? Only put your glue in that top half. So I'm just going to put my glue there. Just a little bit. It'll take longer to dry as this is the shiny paper. Make sure you've got your glue inside so you can line them up. Make sure all your pieces are facing the correct way. And press down. Now you might, for this one, need to use something like a bulldog clip or a clothes clip or clothes peg as we call them or a paper clip or something like that just because you can see it's coming off there. Once it's dried a little bit, you'll be able to take that off. So you've now got your two items. Now you should have been able to, hopefully could follow the instructions on the web page about how to make the butterflies and you can decide how to spread everything out.